Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hello, my little friend. Just a quick reminder, if you want to be in the cat club, talk to your guardian or your parents and make sure that you go to the link down below to become a patron so that you get your first three exclusive Heidi Cherry and Vea stories on the 7th of this month. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to be still and quiet to let go of your day, relax your body, get into bed and be all snuggly and cuckly? All right, now if you're ready and we're all good to go, I have to tell you a crazy story. You wouldn't believe it. Heidi, Cherry and Vea all had to go to the dentist. They'd been for a checkup a couple of weeks ago and their dentist, who was a very nice dentist, Dr. Elia, she was lovely. She was very kind and sweet and gentle and the cats all loved her. But they were not happy about the fact that they all had a cavity and they had to go back. Cherry was super stressed. She'd never had a cavity before. Heidi was, you know, Heidi, she's very sensible. She was okay about it. Vea had a tiny little cavity on one of her teeth and it wasn't a big deal, so she wasn't too stressed. Cherry, as they walked into the dentist, took a hold of Heidi and Vea's paws. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about this, guys. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be brave. And I know, I know Aaliyah won't hurt us. Because she's so sweet and she's so kind. And she's such a good dentist. But at the same time, I'm frightened. I'm frightened about having that silly gas. What's it called? Last week, when they all went to the dentist for the checkup, Aaliyah explained to them that they would all have to have laughing gas. Laughing gas would help them to calm down and get sleepy and comfortable and it would also numb everything so that they could get their teeth done. I don't know about it. I don't know. I just don't know, said Cherry. Heidi said, it's called laughing gas. Cherry said, you know what? Actually, if that's what it's called, does that what it, is that what it does? Is that what it does? Does it make you laugh? Like, do they call it laughing gas because it makes you laugh? Because you would think so, wouldn't you? And if it's called laughing gas because it makes you laugh and it makes you all chilled out and that, like like Dr. Aaliyah said, then, then it shouldn't be so bad, should it? But I don't know why. I just have this feeling in my stomach. I'm so nervous about it. I don't know. I'm really glad it's not an eagle. I would not be going if we had to have an eagle because I'm, I don't think I'd like that very much, but... I know that laughing gas is supposed to be nicer and more gentle and everything, but I'm still really, really nervous. What happens if I do something really, really silly while I'm, I'm like under laughing gases, influences? You know, like, uh, like people walk about when they're sleepwalking at night in their undies and they go to the fridge and like make themselves eat weird stuff while they're asleep. You know, like zombie walking. <gasps> what if I start zombie walking around the dentist's office? <gasps> oh no. What if like I wake up and I've got a pair of knickers on my head? Or like I put my socks on my tail instead of on my paws? Or like, uh, oh no. What if like somebody tricks me and I'm asleep? With me laughing gaffs. Or I'm awake but I'm laughing and I think everything's funny. And they shave me eyebrows off or something like that. <gasps> what if I wake up and I've got no eyebrows? Oh, Vea, I'm really scared. One of the dental's assistant. Oh, by the way, I should say, this dentist, this particular dentist office was absolutely awesome. And another reason the cats found it, because all of the dental assistants were cats. Yes, they were cats. So there was Dr. Aaliyah. She was a very nice doctor. She was just like, you know, a doctor, a person. She was a human. She wasn't a cat. But all of her assistants, she knew very well. And they were all cats and they were very good at their jobs. One of the assistants, Storm, came out and she asked the cats to go back to their rooms. They were all in individual rooms. They weren't in the same room. Heidi said, is it possible for us all to go in the same room? Storm said, no, 
Unfortunately, you all have to go and relax in your own rooms. And then Dr. Aaliyah, the dentist, will come and see you all individually and she will get help from her assistants. But you have to be in your own rooms. I'm sorry. Heidi said, Okay. Are you all right with that, Cherry and Vea? Both of the cats looked at each other. Vea was totally fine with it. Cherry's eyes got really big. Eh, ooh, all right then, if that's what we have to do, then that's what we have to do. But I would like to go first. Can I go first? Because I'm really nervous and I think I need that, that giggle gas to make me more chilled out and more relaxed. Heidi said, I'm okay with going last. Vea can go second and I'll go last and that's fine because I'm not nervous at all. And Vea's only a little bit nervous. She's not really bothered. And Cherry is kind of freaking out. She might be climbing the walls if we make her go last. Storm, the assistant, said, No problem. I'll tell the dentist that she needs to go first. Okay. Storm walked each one of the cats into their room and then set them up with the televisions. They all had earphones so they could listen to the teleprograms. Heidi laid back and started to relax. It wasn't the first time that she'd had a cavity, so she knew exactly what was going to happen. She just started to watch one of the programs on TV and chilled out. Vea asked if they had a Disney channel on the TV so that she could watch princesses, which of course would make her feel more relaxed. Cherry said she wanted to watch something magical. Do you have a magical channel? said Cherry. Storm looked through all the channels and found a children's program that had like a, a wizard program on it. Cherry was okay with that. Storm left the three cats and then in just a few minutes, the dentist, Dr. Aaliyah, came in to see Cherry. Cherry said, oh, thank goodness I've been waiting absolutely ages, ages, well, just a few minutes, but it's felt like the longest time. I'm so nervous, so nervous. I'm not sure about this giggle gas, doctor. I'm not sure at all. And I need a promise. I need a pinky promise or a paw promise or whatever you can do for me that means something to you that's going to say you're not going to shave off my eyebrows and I'm not going to wake up with underpants on my head. Because if I do, I'm telling you, I don't think it's going to be very funny, especially if I'm warning you. And you know what? Maybe I should sign a paper. If I sign a paper, do you have any, like, contracts or anything that I should sign that says you're not going to shave, shave, shave off my eyebrows or, or anything like that? The dentist thought that this was very funny. She told Cherry, Calm down. Everything's going to be okay. This made Cherry feel a lot better because, like I said, Dr. Aaliyah was a very nice dentist and she was always very sweet and kind and gentle. She told Cherry exactly what she was going to do, what she was going to do first, and then next, and then next, and then next, so Cherry knew every step what was happening. When it came for her to put the mask over Cherry's face for the laughing gas, Cherry said one final, don't shave off my eyebrows, and then she started to take deep breaths. It tasted like strawberries and it smelled really nice. She liked that. <sighs> Deep breaths, Cherry said. Deep breaths, I'm taking deep breaths. Oh, this is so nice, I like. Oh, 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 you know. It didn't take very long at all before the laughing gas started to take effects on Cherry. It got funny, Cherry said. Oh, oh, you know, oh, and she was looking over the dentist's head as if she could see something very clearly but obviously it was something in her imagination because there was nothing over the dentist's head. Dr. Aaliyah got to work on the cavity. She figured she was definitely prime and ready to start doing the work. Cherry carried on trying to talk while she had her mouth wide open. Ah yeah, you know, ah yeah, uh oh, it's me, it, I can't, it's me, it's me dragon! <gasps> I always knew I had a dragon! <gasps> I always knew it! Oh, it's so cute! Can you see it? Can you see me dragon? <gasps> She's red! She's red! It's so rocky! No, I can't tell! Can't tell! Oh! The dentist said, try and keep your mouth still just for a moment. 
We're almost done. It was a very quick cavity. It wasn't a bad one at all. Just keep your mouth still. Cherry took a breath and tried to keep her mouth still, but she couldn't help herself. She was seeing her robin, her red robin, her dragon. From being very, very, very small, she knew she had a dragon. It was a magical dragon that took care of her and burned through any obstacles that come in her way. Whenever she was stressed out about something or whenever she was trying to learn something and she couldn't figure it out, whenever she was trying something new and she couldn't do it straight away, she would always imagine Robin right there, burning away the obstacle with her big fiery breath like a dragon would. She carried on telling, trying to tell Dr. Aaliyah that her dragon was called Robin. I is it called Robin? Oh, she's called Robin! 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 Of course, you can't say Robin when you've got your mouth wide open because you need to put your lips together to say the B word. You know, the B sound. But she kept trying. Eventually, she was all done. She was still giggly, though. She was very, very happy. Oh, for goodness. OMG. OMG. Oh, oh. Can I call you Aaliyah? Don't have to call you dentist, do I? And I don't have to call you doctor. Because now we're so close. We're so close. We're like bestest friends. Aaliyah, that was great. I didn't feel a thing. And I saw me Robin. I saw me lovely dragon. And she was so sweet. She's like a little dragon. You know, like about the size of a squirrel. She's only tiny. And normally, she's so powerful. And she helps me with things that I can't do straight away. And she's so nice. And I can't believe she come to be with me today. To keep me safe. And she was probably going to burn you. If you tried to do me eyebrows. You know, just saying, just saying. The doctor said goodbye to Cherry. She said that Finch, he was one of the assistants. He was a cat. He was going to help Cherry get cleaned up and make sure that she was all good to go at the end of the procedure. Finch helped Cherry to gargle with the mouthwash and check that everything was all right. And he told her that she shouldn't eat anything hard. She should just have nice soft things like ice cream or milkshakes or just drinks, mashed potatoes, things like that. Cherry liked the sound of all of those things. And then Dr. Aaliyah went to see Vea. When it came to Vea getting the laughing gas, she went quite sleepy. Oh, I'm floating. Oh, this is so nice. Me feels, oh yeah, me feels like I'm floating. <gasps> oh, she closed her eyes. Dr. Aaliyah told her assistant, Sparrow, that it was time. Definitely, Vea was under the influence of the laughing gas and she probably couldn't feel a thing, so they got started on her cavity. Sparrow kept passing tools and different implements to Dr. Aaliyah while she did Vea's cavity. Vea closed her eyes. In her mind, she could see a big, giant, inflatable tiara. And it had a red string coming down. She wrapped the red string around one of her front paws and started to fly. First of all, she lifted up away from the dentist chair, up through the ceiling, up over the building, up over the trees and the streets and the cars and all of the people down below. Oh, me so relaxed, she said out loud. This is the bestest balloon ride ever. Me likes it a lot. It's so dreamy and I feel so light. My body feels as light as a feather. As light as a mushroom, as light as a match, as light as a sock, as light as a chapstick. She listed over 20 things that were light while she were under the influence. Or she tried to, obviously, her mouth was 
wide open with one of those openers that keeps it in place so that the dentist can do what they need to do while you get the work done. She was talking and no one could understand her, but in her mind she sounded awesome. She sounded like a princess floating through the sky with a giant tiara balloon. Heidi's experience was very different. Heidi turned into some kind of mathematical genius. Who would have thought it? Well, actually, we would all think it because Heidi is very, very smart and very, very, very wise. When she had the laughing gas, she started to say, Hmm, right, yes, and here is the square root of 2054. In Heidi's mind, she was looking at this wall. It was a big, big, giant black wall, like a wall that you would see in the cinema, like almost like as big as the cinema screen. And on it was maths. She was on a ladder and she was doing all breaking it down, doing all the scribbles and the square root of this and the square root of that and this and that and adding this and manning this and subtracting this and t- times in this and doing everything that she needed to do as a, as a mathematical genius to get the square root final number. She stood back and stared at this giant wall of math. I always knew, she said, or she tried to. She actually said, <coughs> That's what the dentist heard and her assistant that was helping her at the time was called Flicker and Flicker tried not to giggle but it was very funny. But in Heidi's mind she was so smart. She was like Einstein and it all was just channeling out of her. All these different numbers and sequences and mathematical breakthroughs in science and It was just, that was Heidi. Heidi was like Einstein. When she came around and the effects of the laughing gas started to wear off, she told Dr. Aaliyah, the dentist, that she was going to start to call herself Einstein. She was so smart. Everyone laughed and thought that was very funny. But Heidi was very serious. When the cats all got in the car to go home, they talked about everything that they'd remembered from their experience. Cherry and her crazy, crazy dragon experience with, you know, Robin, her little red dragon. Vea, how she was floating through the sky, floating around the world with her giant tiara balloon. And then Heidi told the cats, her sisters, how smart she really was. And that, if it was okay with them, sometimes... She'd like to be called Einstein. She told him all about the scientific breakthroughs that she found, the mathematical genius stuff that she did. She told him everything. Of course, Cherry and Vea weren't surprised. They knew how smart their sister was. But who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk that having laughing gas would expose that? When they got home, the cats were very, very tired. They talked about how much they loved their dentist, Dr. Aaliyah, and the assistants, Finch and Sparrow and Flicker and Storm, and how they all do such a good job and make everyone feel so welcome and relaxed and cosy and comfortable and, most importantly, safe. They feel safe with her because she's so kind and sweet and loving and gentle just how a dentist should be, right? The 